Does policy trump human rights? Thank you. Should you be forcing kids to be in those buildings if, you, if you're forbidding people from defending them? This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by... Porkfest.com Hold the door for you, and then I'm going to ambush interview you. <laughs> I've got a question. Were you saying you're going to be working with what you call the at-risk population? Oh. Is that you or? Yeah, that was. Well, I think yeah. yeah. Okay. Still dead. So I get one question I have is: I mean, to what extent you view your students as a, a population or a group, and to what extent do you view them as individuals? Well, I would say that they're all individuals, um, but oh, there are certain characteristics of, of different kids. All kids have different ways that they learn. Um, so just teaching adult ed kids has different. Um, they haven't been tra traditionally successful in the traditional environment, so this allows a little more. Um, flexibility in the school day format and that sort of thing. Okay. Well, to what extent are they at risk because of this school district's excessive spending? I wouldn't say at all. Uh, Excuse me. Yes. Um, he just asked Hi. what. to what extent our students are at risk because of... Yeah, we define an at-risk at uh, student as someone that's not on track to graduate on time. So essentially they're, they're behind in credits and we find ways to assist them in earning their credits towards a high school diploma. But to what extent does this school district increase poverty by taxing the people? <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I, yeah. I have no comment on yeah, that. If no you'd like to talk either. to the, the school board and I will. superintendent. <laughs> yeah, no, right. we're, we're just coming on board. All right. just on board. You're just Thank the ones you. in front of me right now. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thanks for talking to me. Okay. Take care. case will be going to the Supreme Court on May 15th. There's a lot of issues on that. One of them, of course, is the constitutionality of child Are you one of the principals? I am. I have a question for you. Yeah. To what extent are Second Amendment rights respected, you know, for adults who are on the property of your school? Um, I believe they're respected. Um, we've never had any issues, and I have not had to deal with any uh, issues to the negative. Um, so at this point, I don't. I haven't had any issues. At so all. people aren't. The adults are not prevented from being armed while they're on property. They are. We haven't had any issues with parents complaining about oh, parents. But that would be an issue for those of us who support the Second Amendment. Oh, okay. Well, on school <laughs> so, property, there can't be any, any arms on school property, no drugs or anything like that. So you're basically preventing all adults on school property from defending the children, essentially. It's, it's, a, it's a policy on school property, on public property. Does policy trump human rights? Thank you. Should you be forcing kids to be in those buildings if, you, if you're forbidding people from defending them? What? You haven't decided whether to attend Porcupine Festival this year? June 22nd through the 29th 
in gorgeous Lancaster, New Hampshire. Great food, great music, keynote speakers including Joel Salatin, Patrick Byrne, and Nick Gillespie. The $75 price goes up to 100 bucks, and you'll need to pay at the door if you don't register by May 31st. Porkfest.com